the sheer number of illegal boat migrants now arriving in England is so unprecedented. The government is block booking four star hotels in prime tourist areas to house them at a cost to the taxpayer of not five million pounds but seven million pounds a day. The Telegraph reports councils are resisting migrant hotels being imposed in tourist hotspots as the Home Office attempts to disperse the thousands who have arrived in small boats across the channel. At least four councils, some in prime tourist areas, have taken legal action after hotels were block booked by the Home Office for migrants. In Great Yarmouth in Norfolk, local council chief executive Sheila Oxtoby wrote to the Home Office officials after they booked up the whole of a very successful sustainable hotel popular with holiday makers and say goodbye to that near five star trip advisor review score. Oxtoby was ignored and the government just moved in the 72 migrants anyway. As I've documented before, whenever these migrants are housed in hotels also occupied by tourists, let's just say the tourists aren't too keen on the behaviour of their temporary neighbours. But get this, in Ipswich, the government is trying to house 200 asylum seekers in a four-star hotel, the Novotel, which is located right in the centre of the town. So destitute British people are going to be forced to choose between heating and eating this winter. But if you're Albanian and you just rock up in a boat from France, you get free cash, free four-star hotel accommodation in a prime tourist location. Absolute utter madness. Make yourself at home in our luxurious four-star Novotel Ipswich Centre Hotel. Just a few steps from the vibrant waterfront and city centre. The stylish modern rooms will give you and your family plenty of space to unwind, relax and take in the scenery. And you'll enjoy delicious food fresh from the in-house Elements restaurant. Complete with a multi-purpose gym and pet-friendly facilities, you'll never need an excuse to leave. Meanwhile, your grandma is freezing to death because she couldn't afford to pay the heating bill and the gas companies just cut off her supply. All the employees at the hotel have been threatened with redundancy because the government needs to bring in its own specially trained workers to deal with the utter chaos and madness routinely caused by the migrants. Bear in mind these hotel plans are only being discovered because people who booked them months in advance are having their weddings cancelled. And remember, the vast majority of these people are economic migrants, not refugees. Up to 2% of the entire adult male population of Albania has entered the UK in small boats. 12,000 this year alone. On some days, 60% of the boat migrants are Albanian. A country not at war. Yet the media continues to describe these people, all of them, as refugees. And despite children representing an infinitesimal fraction of those arriving. Guess who they choose to put on the front page of all the newspapers? And the one woman who actually wants to and has the power to put a stop to all this, Suella Braverman, is being ousted by a combination of deep state shenanigans and media demonization campaigns. And people are more outraged over her using the word invasion than the complete and a collapse of our border system. As people in coastal towns where these migrants just turn up and run off into, arm themselves in defence against these people who are now breaking into their homes. Yeah, but Suella Braverman said a mean word, and surely that's worse. <laughs>